Hello and welcome to Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews. Giving the old uh, eyeballs a contact lens break for a day. There's no other meaning behind the glasses, just in case you're already wondering about that. And before we get to the temp trend, let me take the time to toot my own horn a little bit because, you know, it does make a difference who you go to for things. There are good plumbers and average plumbers and bad plumbers. There are good... you get the idea. Not every baseball player is a Hall of Famer. Not every baseball player is even a 300 hitter. Think back to this past weekend. Every media outlet I saw and heard had scattered showers and thunder showers in the forecast for both weekend days. I had a thunder shower after 2 o'clock on Sunday, a possibility. Who was closer? And as far as Monday is concerned, I had showers and thunder showers in the forecast after 6 o'clock. 6.25, boom, Utica, thunder shower, and spreading across the area. And we'll get to that even more when we get to the Almanac, when I show you something else interesting. Now, the temp trend is the big weather story. Average is down to 80. It's gone down a degree. So we have passed the warmest part of climatological summer. And we are going to be nowhere near that for the next five or six days, as a matter of fact. Here comes that serious cooling trend that I mentioned a week ago to file away. And now you can take that file back out. It's happening. 77 for today, 73 for Wednesday, only 70. Remember I mentioned a week ago... It may be a struggle to reach 70 the middle of this week, and that is indeed the case with a gradual warming trend. Now, the Friday through Saturday portion of the forecast, I have serious question marks in the back of my mind because the computer models are now hinting at somewhat inclement weather getting close. It would not really impact the temperatures, so they're going to stay cool for Friday and Saturday, but the sky could change and the need for an umbrella could. Just file that in the back of your mind as we get closer to Friday and Saturday. The dew points are going down. On Monday in the lower 60s, today transitioning through the 50s, and Wednesday through Saturday down around 50 or even below. That means the moisture content in the air is going down. That means the air is drier, and so with the temperatures turning cooler, the air turning drier, it's going to feel like late September. More storms in the forecast today? Yeah, I think a splash and dash later this afternoon and this evening is a possibility. There'll be quick hit or miss. Not everyone will see it, but it's definitely a possibility because the air is unstable as these fronts roll through. Late September-like weather is ahead, and I don't mean for late September. I mean for this week. Kind of crazy. It's a chunk of chili coming our way from here and beyond. So let's talk about what's going to happen. Thunder showers this afternoon, a possibility, but the likelihood of them being severe in the low category and even low in the low category. If they were, they would have to be in the wind portion of the categories. So don't worry about it. You don't really need to know a whole lot about all the fronts that are passing through. You just need to know a couple of things. First of all, they're cold fronts. They're passing through in succession yesterday evenings at 6 o'clock, as forecasted. And then this afternoon and evenings coming through. The other thing I want you to get from the satellite imagery with the fronts and the highs and the lows is this is the dominating weather feature for us. It's too far away to give us continuous clouds and rain, but it is close enough and it's large enough. Look at the spread from the middle of Canada through the Great Lakes and through New England and the Labrador portions of Canada. So it has a widespread influence on the weather, and that means the wind trajectory around it is going to keep us on the cool side of average. But if you look carefully at the infrared imagery, now we're looking through the clouds to see how deep the moisture is, it's mostly in the white portion of the scale. It's not blue or dark blue that you see here. So the moisture content is not deep. So these are just splash and dash showers, if there are any, in these clouds, and just passing patchy clouds. So that's going to be our lot after today for Wednesday and for Thursday and for Friday. So this storm is the big weather influencer for us. It's just going to sit and spin and rotate these cold fronts from last night and this evening in, on through, keeping the cool air pushing through between the high and the low. And the high will gradually make pro progress in for Wednesday and Thursday, causing the skies to get a little brighter with each passing day, but not a lot. But computer models now suggest, and I'm not going with it yet, we'll wait and see another day, a storm forming across... Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, which would follow quickly behind the high for Friday and Saturday and could wind up dousing Friday and Saturday. But in the short term, it's all about these cool fronts rotating around the storm, bringing cooler air and the threat, the higher risk, 
for some showers. Meanwhile, let's get back to patting me on the back here for a second. I forecasted a high yesterday of 83. Now, why is Jeff pointing it out when it was actually three off? I mean, it wasn't perfect, right? I could have been a little closer. It's good, but it's not perfect. The computer models forecasted a high yesterday of 85 and 87, I believe. Don't ask me why. I didn't buy it. I went lower than the lowest one. I was closest of them all. So I'm even beating the computer models in terms of closeness. The rain gauge, 16 hundredths of an inch, but it was widely scattered, the amounts, throughout the area yesterday evening. Your forecast, if you keep it where it is. Welcome to Intermission. <laughs> Intermission. You kept it where it is. So here's your forecast for Tuesday. Clouds, a couple of scattered popcorn-type thunder showers or showers passing through in the afternoon and the evening hours. A high of about 77, but it's getting cooler every day now. For tonight, a few scattered evening showers. They'll just be quick little puddle makers and they'll be gone overnight. A low, double nickels, 55. For tomorrow, there'll be some sunnier and cloudier periods. But uh, you could have a wet windshield for a few minutes because there'll be some virga or some sprinkles around in the afternoon hours, which will dissipate as the sun sets because the sun has a way of generating these because of the very cool and stable air coming out of Canada. So it tends to develop in the afternoon and then quickly dissipate in the evening hours. So in the afternoon, you could run into a sprinkle and a high in between those sprinkles of only 72 in early August. So think about this. 72 in early August. That's crazy. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, cloudier and sunnier periods, the chance for those afternoon sprinkle or virga in the air. It'll be very cool with a high around or just above 70. Nighttime lows around or just above 50. And again, I just want to point out, if the forecast were to change anywhere in here dramatically, it would be right in there, Friday and Saturday. You might want to see me adapt and change that, and it would go for the worse versus where it is right now. But we'll keep watching it and fine-tuning it, and that's why I encourage you to check back in, because, hey, even I'm not 100%. But you know what? Whether it's sunny or cloudy, it's still up to you to make it a great day. <laughs>